guys? That's right. Afternoon. Long night last night, traveling back early morning. Uh, obviously not the results that we had hoped for, we worked towards. Um, disappointing game, uh, but one game doesn't define you. Uh, Got to get back on the horse, regroup, refocus. Get ready to go for the Chargers. Um, play and coach better. And... Uh, and learn from the from the mistakes that we made. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, Going to get started here soon, moving forward. Um, I know Sean touched upon the quarterback situation moving forward. You know, I have nothing to add on that from from what Sean said. I respect the question, but you know, what Sean said is is what Sean said. So uh, with that, opening up the questions. Can you uh, give us a little bit? Sure. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, it wasn't good enough from anybody. Uh, starting with me and, and moving on down the list, uh, when to score points, uh, didn't move it effectively, had penalties, turned the ball over, went backwards. Um, it starts with me, and uh, we're going to work hard to fix it. From your perspective, based on what Baltimore had on the field when Josh Allen was in the game, just after the, the, the guys and the backup starters, whatever, what kind of defense they were running, what do you feel like you could have learned from Josh in that situation? Or was it tough because of where you were in the game? Well, we had to throw, we were going to throw the ball from, from that moment on when you're down to that many points. Um, so he was able to, to move around in the pocket, work on some, some play concepts, see how he can move the, the ball down the field. Um, you know, handle it, handle it like a pro. I'm sure there's some things that he would want back, just like all of us. Uh, but again, he, he's a young player that's still developing that, that I have a lot of trust in. What went wrong for Nate in your mind? Well, it was all of us. You know, it's easy to pin on the quarterback at, at any point in time. Um, you know, it's hard. We were playing behind the chains, uh, particularly early on. We had some holding penalties in there. It was first and 20, second and 24, third and long, I think. Um, 13 of our 15 third downs were seven plus, which is hard and no matter where you play. Uh, so it's collective effort. What's your sense of his confidence level? I mean, this is two of three career starts where he's been lifted for performance. Uh, I know you weren't here you know, last year for it, but just moving forward, how does he have the confidence that he can go out and get the job done? I mean, I think that's a good question for Nate. Uh, he's a pro, he works hard. Um, he prepares, he studies. I think that's a, you know, that's a, a better question for Nate to answer. You mentioned, you know, it was kind of all across the board on mm -hmm. offense. You know, a lot of, um, a lot of things went wrong. In your experience, what can it do, um, or what's the hesitation, I guess, of putting a young quarterback like Josh into a situation like that when things aren't going well? What can that do to maybe hurt his development or I think any rep for a young player is a meaningful rep. Uh, I think they're all meaningful um, for Josh. They're meaningful for everybody, regardless of the score. The situation is, you know, focusing on one play at a time, trying to play to the end. Um, again, we were in a tough spot. We were in a tough situation, being down by how many we were down early in the game. We lost control of the game. Uh, but any rep that he can get is, is meaningful. Brian, obviously. Well, I, I think that you know you you always want to try you want to do what you need to do to try to win the game. Um, we had three holding penalties fairly early on on three runs. Uh, you know whether we think we got to run it, pass it, check with me it. Uh, that's what we're going to try to do. Um, at the end of the day, you know regardless of whether it was a run or pass, it, it really wasn't effective. Marcus Murphy um, got more work than Chris Ivory. Was that a product of? lopsided nature of the score of the game, or is that, um, was that part of the game? Plan? I think it was personnel groupings, you know, what personnel group we were in. Um, those guys do a good job, those running backs they have since the beginning, uh, but based on personnel and, and what we were calling, that was part of it. Brian, 
I know you said you were confident in the offensive line mm -hmm. heading into this one, but if you look back in the preseason, their performance, and you had on this regular season one, where is your level of concern with the performance of that unit? They, they did. There were some good things in pass protection when you when you go back the amount of times we threw it when they know we're going to have to throw it. They did a good job communicating. Um, we need to try to establish the, the line of scrimmage in the running game. Um, but again, that's 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 everybody. How did you feel Nate's internal clock was in terms of getting rid of the football? And stuff? Yeah, mo most of the time, most of the time it was good. I mean, there's again, there's so much that goes along with that, and it's it's a good question. Spacing of the routes, you know. Depth of the routes, the protection. I'm, I'm sure there's some that I, that I know he wants back. That I'm sure I know he does. Um, you know, some good, some not as good. Sean referenced some good things that Nate did. He didn't offer any specifics, though. From the outside, it would be very, very difficult to see those. And when you just looking at the box score alone, what were some of those good things that he did? Sure. There, there's a lot on his plate in terms of um, making the right check whether it's run or pass at the line of scrimmage. Uh, his reads were good. I know there wasn't a lot of completions, but where he was looking at and his eyes on the defense, um, you know, so those are some of the things. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.